Hey guys, it's uh, Matt here. Uh, I just got out of, I'm in my truck right now, so yeah. I just got out of um, Cannibal Holocaust 35mm screen. I was going to take up uh, some more stuff, there, but I was just going to vlog on the experience. I really did want a lot more footage, but I find that when I'm at places, it's kind of hard to like keep track of taking footage of like the movie just and different people's reactions is what I kind of wanted to get because uh, that's the fun part for people that have already seen it. But, um, I mean, it's an, it's kind of annoying holding the camera for so long and things like that. I'm in a parking lot, so I gotta keep looking around. But, um, uh, what was I gonna say? So, yeah, I didn't get much, but I'm gonna talk about the experience right now. And, um, yeah, so that'll be that. Um, also, let's see, before we start, uh, Late Night Grindhouse is a thing that happens in St. Louis and it's put on by DestroyTheBrainOnline.com um, uh, A fellow website owner, uh, I of course own ZombieNation.net uh, and DestroyTheBrain.com, I believe they have, and DestroyTheBrainOnline.com <clears throat> uh, They put together this show every month, once a month, on Friday and Saturday and they show movies. The very first movie they ever showed was Evil Dead, which I missed. I didn't even know about it at that time. The second movie they played is Lucio Fulci's The Beyond, which I totally wanted to do that, but I have to work. I had to work, and uh, I didn't have enough time to request off. Um, and then they played Rec 2, uh, which I went to see. And then this month, uh, for August, they played Cannibal Holocaust, uh, pr provided to them by Grindhouse Releasing, which was awesome. Um, so yeah. I drove, it, it takes about 45 minutes for me to get my to my house, uh, to the theater, so it's not that bad. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, about a hundred plus people showed up tonight for the Friday night. I'm not going to go to the Saturday night one, which will be tomorrow, obviously. But, um, it was good stuff. Uh, before the show came on, he asked how many people in the audience had seen Cannibal Holocaust before. And out of a hundred people, probably close because 60 of them raised their hands and said they had never seen Cannibal Holocaust before. So I was like, oh, this is going to be kind of fun. Um, and of course they did the little warning, uh, real animal killings uh, to come. So if you're queasy, watch out. Um, and wow, I hadn't seen the movie in probably a good four years. I owned the DVD. Um, I saw the movie a long before I owned the DVD. I downloaded it. Uh, because I heard, you know, the controversy around it and all of this. And having not seen it in probably about three or four years, like I just said, um, it was actually a good movie, and it was very cool to see it on the big screen, so to speak. Um, it's a very old-school theater. It's been around since the 30s, I think. And um, it, it's really, it's a really cool theater. Um, and to watch it on the big screen in 35mm was pretty cool. Uh, the movie was better than I remember, as a matter of fact. Uh, there was some part, there was probably about two or three parts that I didn't even re recall see ever seeing before. And uh, it was uncut. They uh, did a uh, Grindhouse Releasing Senate uncut, which was very cool. Um, and what was even cooler is at the end of the night, or at the end of the movie, where the credits rolled and everything, pretty much everyone did a clap. And I, and I thought that was kind of cool. Um, great experience. Uh, I, I didn't stick around too long to talk to Andy. I talked to him a little bit before the movie started and whatnot. But um, I was going to try to get the insight on to what next month's movie was going to be. Um, but I'll let you people know, obviously, uh, when that happens. Um, so now I'm going to drive home. Uh, I still have some clips to upload and whatnot, but I'm going to drive home now. Um, I have no GPS. Fuck GPS. I have, uh, my GPS is MapQuest and fucking cue cards. Oh, yeah. I wrote, wrote, I wrote, I wrote out each exit. I only have to take like six exits coming in, and like, uh, what is it, like four, three exits going home. So it's mostly highway mileage uh, that we're going to be going through. So, um, yeah. Uh, if I think of anything else, I'll you know edit, edit it in. Um, but uh, yeah, I tried to hunt down a Cannibal Holocaust shirt, but I couldn't find one. So I wore my the burning instead, um, you know. I had to show my my horror genre people what's up. I think I already said, talked about the shirt in my uh, video. But thanks you guys for coming in over here and subscribing. I know some of you have already uh, come over and subscribed. Uh, I checked my 
mail just a minute ago from my iPhone and some people subscribe to this channel, Rihanna Matt. So that's cool. Um, I, this is a channel I've had for a while. Um, I had a channel before just that got banned for posting trailers. I had probably close to 300 subscribers back then and then I was like, fuck YouTube for like a year and then I came back as the DVD update. Everyone knows this. But, um, cool experience for sure. Uh, if I, like I said, if I think of anything else, I'll throw it in there. But, um, yeah, it was very cool, man, to see it. See it on the big screen and uh, with so many people. And uh, it's a very cool crowd that comes out to these things um, because you got a gam you got a gambit of everybody. I saw everybody. I saw horror enthusiasts, people that didn't know what they were getting into, um, young people, older people. It's just uh, it was just a very cool, laid back setting. You know, no one was fucking yelling or saying that it was stupid because it was so old or the dubbing was a little off or something like that. Very respectful of, of the movie itself, and and they just sat back and and watched it and enjoyed it um, due to the clapping I'm guessing most of them enjoyed it um, so yeah alright I'm gonna stop this video so I can go home you know maybe stop by work on the way and get a newspaper if I if I get there in time so let's go ahead um, I might leave I might leave that camera running as I drive hopefully it doesn't fall off yeah that's a uh, that's on a new That's on a new monopod I got that sucks into the truck window, so hopefully Hopefully uh, everything's fine. Let's do it. Okay, what? Also, um, the trailers, they played a trailer for Village of the Damned, I think, or Children of the Damned, or something like that. I think it's Village of the Damned. That was awesome. Hold on, I gotta merge onto a highway here real quick. Can't vlog very well. Yeah, Village of the Dam, that was pretty cool. Alright, here we go. But, um, also, <laughs> I played the trailer for American Ninja, which was just all kinds of awesome. Hopefully, you can hear me over the sound. This is interesting, I'm, I'm trying out this new monopod to suction to my uh, car, car uh, windshield. Uh, window, so it's probably a little rocky, but it's actually holding up. I'm just hopefully it doesn't fall. I right, fuck you guys are gonna make me miss my exit. Hold on, I gotta focus here. Yeah, that's monopod's holding up pretty good. People complain that the suction cup on it was messed up. It is. It only like it only adheres to glass and mirrors. Glass, perfect. I gotta focus again. Here's my exit. Um, glass, perfect. Anything else, not perfect. It doesn't even fucking work, the suction cup. So, uh, but I bought it specifically to use in my truck to do vlogs on the go so that, um, so I didn't have to hold it, you know? So it's working out perfect right now. Well, not much to talk about. I mean, I pretty much summed up the whole experience. I, I know this, like, uh, I promoted this and shit, but I mean, there's really not much you could do. I mean, I could have showed footage of the movie and whatnot, but I mean, really, uh, most of you guys have probably seen Cannibal Holocaust. And if not, go ahead and uh, I suggest you guys check it out. Um, it's actually a pretty good movie, but like I said, yeah, there's animal killing. I, I was taking a mental tally of how many animals died. I think, uh, uh, what was it? A muskrat? One muskrat. This one, I, this one, I always felt a way upset about a sea turtle, uh, a monkey, uh, a potbelly pig. What else? I think that's it. Oh yeah, a snake and a spider. Those are all the casualties, real animal killings in the movie. So. Yeah, you know, when I saw it, you know, it didn't bother me any, etc. 
except for that turtle. That turtle bothered me. I don't know why. Uh, it's just, that's just how it is. <clears throat> but yeah, hopefully next, I mean, I'm gonna go to these every month. Uh, or a Friday or Saturday. I, I had to work on both those days, the required days, so I had to specifically request it off, which is a pain in the ass, but, um, it, it, you know, he'll give it to me for sure, my boss will, but, um, yeah, I, usually I stay, I, usually before I get into the movie early so I can chat with some people, uh, Andy, who runs it, um, and I usually, uh, you know, say goodbye to him before I leave or talk to him a little more, but, um, you know, I, I'm way too tired today, so I, I headed out early to do this vlog in the car. And um, but yeah, I usually pick his brain as to what the next grindhouse is gonna be, so I know in advance, kind of like insider info type of shit. But um, you know, I just left. I decided to leave. I'll talk to him later though. Um, hopefully, he was. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say all the stuff he's trying to get or whatever, but I'm just gonna do this and ask him later. But um, or just post it. No, no one. Not a lot of people are going to see this anyways, but um, his, his, I wore a reanimator shirt to the Rec 2 screening, and uh, he said he wanted to try to get that, so that was pretty cool. And uh, also on a side note, the Cannibal Holocaust screening for tonight was the 30th anniversary, not the 30th anniversary of when it came out in Italy, but the 30th anniversary of the U.S. release of it. So that, that was pretty cool. He was trying to get posters printed up, didn't work out. Uh, I would totally bought one though. But yeah, I want to talk. Oh, speaking of food, that gives me something else to talk about. Uh, this theater, these late night grind houses only cost six dollars to get in, man. Now that is fucking awesome. Um, six dollars to get in, and the food, the food and drink is cheap. I think it's like two bucks for a drink, small drink, and it's like three bucks for a popcorn. Yeah, it's really awesome that he puts trailers before the movie because. Sometimes, the, he said, told me, sometimes the movie ships with trailers before it, but if there isn't, he tries to throw some, and it, they're always pretty cool ones, like uh, American Ninja. So yeah, like I said, every month, hopefully there's going to be one. I will go every month, guaranteed, uh, because, you know, it's, always, it's fun. It's fun to see old movies that you would have never gotten to see because of your age or whatever, finally on the big screen. and. Uh, I always love going to these screens, man, because, like, I got to see Dawn of the Dead on the big screen. Uh, and this was uh, when I was in high school still. Um, so, ever since then, I've been, I've been wanting to really watch the movies that I never got the chance to see as a kid or I was too young or whatever that I love now. And I don't want to be in all this. Coppers. Um, it's great to, to be able to have the opportunity to do this, uh, to see these movies, so I'm going to take up every chance I can get to see these old school movies in the theater. Hey guys, Matt here again. Matt here again. Check this out. Um, I, I'm, I was driving home and now I got, I got took it off my tripod, but... guys painting painting that mural that's pretty cool man pretty cool mural dude's working on it painting it he's been, he's been painting that for months now obviously since it's so huge hold on let me get a better since it's so huge but he's you know doing what he does 